All right, guys, I just picked up this U35, um, which is kind of, I don't know, like this thing's in pretty good shape. It kind of bums me out because this was a nice car, I can tell. Um, I don't know, there's some good things about it. Like I said, this is probably not going to be part of like my car collection or nothing. So I'm just going to flip the camera around, let you guys check it out. And this thing's probably going to end up being parted out. So if you see something you want, let me know. <laughs> But the whole reason I picked this thing up was basically just for the brakes and the wheels. I mean, you know, I don't think these wheels are anything fancy, but it's got brand new NT555 tires on it, which for what I paid for it, the tires alone are worth that. So, and the brakes. Okay, I kind of, I want to put these brakes on my RX-7. But if somebody's going to willing, or someone's willing to pay what I want for them, then I'm just going to let them go. But the car's been sitting for a while, of course, like the majority of stuff that I bring home, which is not too bad. But like I said, it kind of bums me out because I could tell this was actually a, uh, a nice car. Pretty rough. But of course, the engine's blown, um, which is a kind of a shocker because this thing only has like 100,000 miles on it. So, as much as I would like to keep it and save it, um, can't fix them, save them all, I guess. I got enough junk as it is. But I really like G35s. I don't know. Would love to keep this car. The interior is not in too bad a shape. Probably like a common for those handles to break. Unless it's a factory manual car, which is really cool. I can kind of imagine that like a factory manual, like a uh, hard top car is probably pretty hard to come by. Never seen black do this before. Like it's cooked all the way down to like bare metal. <laughs> so, wish I had something for these wheels to fit on, but they're twenties. I don't think I have a car that would actually even roll on those things. Maybe the Corvette, but of course, wrong uh, luck pattern. So this little diffuser and like this little, if I can flip the gas real quick, like this little homemade kind of flow master setup going on down here. <laughs> Don't look like it was uh, too poor of a quality done. You can kind of see it goes up there and stuff. Oh, we got like some lower arms and stuff. I didn't even know that. So... Yeah, I said you guys will probably never ever see this car again, but I just figured I would make some kind of video of it. I said I like to look back and see these garbages. I don't know, if it was in better shape, I'd probably keep it because I mean, it's kind of rough. There's like, you guys can make it out like the paint's kind of, paint's not all that good, and there's like some dents. That course is very, very bad. I'm sure, like the Paint is cooked off of the spoiler. A little dent right there. Some gnarly scratches. I don't even know what happened right here. Looks like maybe the hood flew up or something at one point. But I don't think it was this hood. Windshield's cracked, so it could be a possibility. <laughs> Yeah, like if it was in better shape. Like the A-pillar A -pillar trim right here, it's on its way out, which wouldn't be hard to glue that back down. Side mirror. There's a spot on the front bumper. Little trim. That's definitely what happened. When hood flew up. Yeah, guys. Like I said, nothing special. I just wanted to make some kind of content with the car. I mean, it's kind of kind of a bummer. It is a 
or it was a nice car. So actually, I don't know, I'm definitely gonna get a G35. I think this is a pretty cool car. I actually kind of like it more than the 350Z if I'm being honest. So, but yeah. Anyway, I just wanna make a quick little video with it before uh, it gets parted out or whatever I wanna end up doing with it. So probably gonna get parted out. <laughs> but all right guys, that's it for this one. See you on the next one.